So there's a great quote by the poet's Yeat, which says, the world is full of magic things, patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. In other words, in our search for the miraculous, we find that it's often right before our very eyes, but we fail to see it, right? We are blind, we cannot decipher. But Henry Miller says, if we could pinpoint our attention, right, we would see that even a blade of grass, when given proper attention, becomes a magnificent world in itself. And how do we focus our attention? With our tools, like the microscope, or even more interestingly, like the telescope, as it literally allows us to swallow the macro, right? Think of a space telescope, which as the poet author Ross Anderson describes, allows us to mainline space and time through the optic nerve. Literally, a space telescope takes images of the deep field, takes images of the universe, and literally distills through the sheer aesthetic impact, the aesthetic force of its discoveries. It distills the complex, the unfathomably complex abstractions of astrophysics, the, the mathematics that is beyond our understanding. It literally distills it into singular expressions of color and of light, vindicating Keats, the poet, famous couplet, beauty is truth, truth, beauty, right? We see images of the universe taken through a space telescope and we realize this is nothing less, my friends, as Ross Anderson says, as nothing less than an ontological awakening, a forceful reckoning, a reckoning with what is, which allows us to contemplate space and time on a scale just shy of the infinite. And what does this do? when we are cracked open by awe, our agitating consciousness, right? In pain from the human condition, the mortal coil, all of a sudden connects with something grander than itself, connects with something radiant, with something resplendent. We are split apart by the majesty of the universe, by awe, and we become more than what we were. We experience the astronaut overview effect, what Neil deGrasse Tyson calls the cosmic perspective. We see the big, picture. We are transformed, we are reset, and we are filled with feelings of grace and gratitude. This, this kind of awe therapy made possible by these technological instruments such as space telescopes enlarge us, right? They bewitch us and they, oh my god, what they do for the mind is they allow us to fit the universe through our brains. And as I ended my video on awe, it comes out as nothing less than poetry. We. Carl Sagan says we are star stuff and we remember what we forgot.